Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is part three of four of my Bluetooth adventure. I'll tell you about my next video, which will be uh, the be all and end all. Uh, recently, I got a uh, an HC-06 Bluetooth receiver. I've got it hooked up to my Arduino Uno. I've got a FET here that controls a solenoid that'll act as a lock. Uh, some LEDs. Uh, if you check back on my channel, I've done some different. Uh, and fun things with Robo Remo, which is an app for Android. And so what I'll do is I'll plug it in. I've got it in program mode right now. I'll uh, plug it in. And now what I've got to do is actually plug in my AC adapter and open up Robo Remo. I've I've made a UI with five buttons. I still want to get the uh, upgrade to the the full version of RoboRemo because the freeware only allows for you to make five buttons. Anyway, I've labeled them one, two, three, four, five. You might have trouble seeing it. Uh, so it's plugged in, and now I have to connect to the uh, Bluetooth. I've already got it synced, so port one. And so now I'm going to type in a four-digit code once it once it connects to the uh, to the HC06. So I'm going to type in a code of one, one, four, five. Once I've done that, the LED stays on. I'll unplug it. And from there, what I'll do is I will, hopefully I can do this without obstructing the view, change the program jumper. So now it's in scanning mode. I'll plug it back in. I'll reconnect to the HC06. And what this is an electromagnetic solenoid. I have forgot to apply power to the solenoid. And I've, I've got 12 volts on the solenoid right now, so I control it using my Arduino via this little field effect transistor FET. Uh, and I will type in 1, 1, 4, f watch, the so watch the solenoid, 5. Turns on for 5 seconds, and then turns off. And I just wanted to... Uh, see if I can make a little combination lock controlled by my phone. So again, I'll just take this over here. One, one, four, five. I don't have a stopper for the solenoids. I have to use my fingers. So I use this as a door lock. Now if I type in an incorrect code, say one, two, three, four, the LED, the, the incorrect uh, LED turns on for a short period of time, but if I get, again, uh, another incorrect code, one, 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 stays on for a few seconds extra, let's try one, one, four, and five. So that's it. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a, f a fingerprint scanner that works uh, alongside the Bluetooth combination lock so that you have to add in a correct fingerprint along with the Bluetooth combination code to actually activate the lock. Now I could use a servo motor. I'm not gonna. The, this uh, works quite well for me. I'll put this on a PCB sometime, but right now I'm really just having some fun with uh, Bluetooth. Now RoboRemo again can be found in your app store. R-O-B-O-R-E-M-O, -O -E one word. And I highly suggest that if you're going to download it, spend the 8 bucks to get the full version because you have so many more options with it. But yeah, I'm using the freeware version right now. I'm going to update sooner or later. Uh, in any case, that's it. That's the video. I've got the Arduino Uno, field effect transistor, uh, electromagnetic solenoid, and some LEDs. And of course, the HC-06 Bluetooth receiver. Thanks for watching, everybody.